Hello, in this video we are going to be looking at the basic smart rate heat thermostat by Tardo. I already have the normal Tardo system in the house. Uh, this is the packaging for the normal smart ones. Uh, currently, uh, because of Black Friday and Cyber Monday, these were on offer for uh, around about 50 quid or 53 pound each for three on Amazon. Um, available elsewhere like Toolstation and um, uh, Screwfix. I bought this one from Screwfix. I've got another three of these coming. I bought this one because uh, in one of the rooms, uh, aka the hallway, I've got the thermostat and I want to put this on the radiator and the thermostat already does humidity. So I'm just stopping it there because it turns out the basic model does have humidity reporting. So I want to just check what this one's like. So first off, we're going to compare packaging. Because I am a hoarder from the 90s tech person, I keep all my boxes, so I've had this for about three years, so the packaging may have changed slightly during that time. Uh, we're just going to quickly open up the old old one first, or the better one, we'll say. Uh, so this one has humidity, and we're going to go through the different features. So as you can see, it's got an additional sleeve. Um, I've taken this off my bedroom uh, radiator, so as you can see, it uh, twists around, you can set the temperature manually. Takes two double A's, uh, that's why there's two double A's by here. So that's that. Uh, with the pack, you get different uh, size couplings to go onto the radiator to replace your existing TRVs, or if you don't have TRVs, you can chuck them on there. Um, and some fixings. So, all the good stuff you need to get it compatible with most radiators. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's literally it. So other than pulling out the tab when you first get it, because it comes with batteries when you first get it, uh, that's basically the packaging and you go through the normal setup process. Now, going on to the smart basic radio, th radio thermostat, you can see packaging has been reduced. Uh, I don't mind that personally, I'm not a big fan of flashy packaging for the sake of it. So we're just going to pull that off. What have we got? Oh great, a QR code for me to block out straight away. So sleeve. Obviously there was a sleeve on the other one as well. Uh, so what we got, similar kind of rotate uh, kind of dial. Um, it doesn't necessarily, oh, okay, this is different to what I thought it was. So if I just focus there a second. Um, what I thought was uh, that there was a line and you just twist it like a normal TRV, but it turns out this is just showing you which direction to turn it for more and not which direction to turn it off. Um, as you can tell, let me grab the other one again. The tops are very similar, so that's the new one, or sorry, that's the better one, and that's the basic one. Um, so they are the same, and underneath, because I just need to twist this off, because the cap is still on the radiator for the one upstairs. Okay, so it looks very similar. It looks very, very similar to the bottom of this one. Like I said, my thumb placement's to cover the QR codes on it. Yes, so they look very similar devices, basically. Uh, Okay, nice and simple. I'm going to go and get this added to the app and we'll see it in the app. Additionally, in the packaging, you have the same brackets that were on the other one. So obviously they have to include them anyway. And under here, you've got your probably warranty. Uh, no, it's the specification sheet. So if we just focus, there we go. It's not really it, it's the step. Okay, so that's, that's all the packaging now. So, yeah, let's go out to the app. Once you've got the TRV out of the box, pull the battery tab out. It'll probably come with batteries, so that's fine. Press and hold the pay button for three seconds. It'll talk to the uh, gateway. And then once it talks and is paid with the gateway, it'll give you this screen. Click on installation instructions. This will give you lots of graphical instructions as to how to uh, attach the TRV to your radiator. Uh, if you're not sure what adapter you need, if you need an adapter, you can click this handy little blue link at this stage. This will take you to the Tardo website, where once again, it's quite graphical. It'll specify what brand or what type of valves you might have, um, as you can see here. And then what adapter you need to attach to it and how to do that. Uh, as I said, these are all included in the box. Um, there are some that aren't, but there is a handy guide at the bottom of this page uh, that will actually specify uh, what to do if you don't have the correct adapter supplied in the box. So once you've done that, you get the uh, Tardo bottom bit, uh, which is more like a mount. Attach that to your radiator and screw on your Tardo. Okay, so now I've brought it into the light. You can see there are indentations for icons here. 
So obviously open window uh, away mode uh, needs looking at or it's doing preparation, battery's low, don't know what that is, like obviously alarm of some sort, manual control and you are home. So I don't know if they light up but we'll find that out and uh, let's just attach it to the radio now. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and install this and remove this old TRV. So you just unscrew it, get the Tardo adapter, which is basically the same, but with the little coupling for the Tardo to sit on top. Take your Tardo TRV, place it on and then twist, and that's it. That is your Tardo TRV installed. Okay, so now we're going to go in the app. You'll now see that room 7 is present. That is the new TRV. We're going to click on that. What you'll notice here is that there is a humidity sensor in this. So I don't understand what the basic version is actually lacking. Uh, and you can treat it just like you can the other versions of Tardo. So you do early start and away mode and things like that. Very odd. Anyway, next, let's move on to the actual uh, merging of rooms. So this is going to be in the hallway for me, or I attached to the hallway. So I'll just go and follow these steps that I'm doing here. Just select the room. I want to add it to hallway. And then when I go back to the home screen now, you will see that room seven is now gone. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, in all honesty, I can't really tell any difference between the Tardo uh, Eco or Tardo Basic versus the normal one. So uh, yeah, uh, subscribe and I'll try and figure out the difference. Cheers.